Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We're going to jump into this Mozzie Smith breakdown. This is a quick little highlight tape, man, of like two minutes uh, and some change of film on, on Mozzie Smith. I won't go in too much into detail because the Saints haven't drafted him. If the Saints draft him, you know I'll go into more detail. If you're watching this later after the draft from some other team, enjoy this. This is going to be Mozzie Smith. Um, before we start, we will talk about him a little bit. Uh, went to the combine, measured in at 6'3", 323 pounds. Only did bench press, had 34 reps on the bench press, so that's pretty good. Um, he did get arrested, you know, if you, you have some off-field off concerns. Not not me. Uh, it was just, you know, he was speeding, got arrested for a firearm possession that he didn't have, you know, legally. He said he was in the process of getting the paperwork done. So there's that. Um, no, other than that, nothing. Now let's jump into this film. Really good with his hands right here on his first play. Right in the middle of this, just one-on-one. -on -one. When he gets one-on-one -on -one with those centers, he wins a lot. I did watch more than this highlight tape. I watched a couple other games. Uh, just skim through them real quick. He's really good with his hands. He's really good when he gets one-on-ones. But, you know, the defensive tackle position, that's going to be rare. I mean, somebody has to try to block him. I don't know what the center's doing here. Guess he's, you know, he sees that blitz coming. Just throws him off him. Gets the free shot at the running back. I mean, he's too good for this. Solid. It's a really good athlete. Once again, one-on-one -on -one with the center. He got good pushback, you know, to start the play. Ends up getting in on that sack. So right here, even though, you know, it's fourth and three, if we can see, he gets good push right here. So in reality, he kind of does his job. You're getting a double team. You're pushing the two linemen, you know, three, four yards back into the backfield. Now it's up to your defensive ends to come out wide and make this quarterback step up in the pocket. It's not his fault that, you know, the defensive ends are not getting pressure, you know, from the outside. As a defensive tackle, if you push that guy, you know, three, four, five yards into the backfield, you've done your job as a defensive tackle because the quarterback can't step up in the pocket. Yeah, I mean, they're playing Colorado State. Look like they kept, I mean, the whole entire lineup in the block. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They like eight guys blocking. So they ran a two receiver out and they blocked everybody. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but eventually he gets there. Gets credit with half a sack right there. Really good job on fourth down. Here we go. College football playoff. Facing a double team. Really, really good play right here, man. Look at the score. I always, always love this about players, man. The first thing I like to look at is, you know, where you at? First and 10. Okay, you know, what's the score in the game and things like that. How do you plan when it's late in the game, when you're tired, when your team needs to play? Obviously, you can see they're down 30 to 41 against TCU in the college football playoff. They obviously need a play. They obviously need something to happen. Uh, and he makes a play right here. It's about to be the fourth quarter. He can get all the momentum. He's facing the double team. You know, gets the running back right here, but he's fighting the whole way. He's fighting for that ball, fighting for that ball. Causes a fumble right here. If I remember correctly, there was... Um, confirmed they did fumble that, um, and he, he was credited with that forced fumble right there, man. Look at the, the possession. They really, really need that. Now you give your offensive, you know, a, a extra possession right here in, in a super close game, two-possession game, 11-point game. Really, really good. Because if he doesn't get that, man, that's a five-yard play on first down. TCU gets that, you know, and, and that, they can end the game right there. TCU end up winning and then got pummeled by Georgia, but different story for a different day right there. It's a really good play by Mozzie Smith. I definitely like what I saw on film. from. I do have some pros and cons that I'll talk about, you know, at the end of this video. Very, very good with his hands once again on that center. Does a great, great job. It's actually not the center, but it's the guard. But either way, really, really good job by him. Makes that play. Another one, just holding his ground against TCU right here. You know, not really getting pushed in the backfield, but at the same time, extending those arms, not letting those guys, you know, push him down the field and just close down on the running back when he gets there. That's excellent. Doesn't get better than that. Really good job. 
Once again, those arms, man, he's really, really good in his arms. Like I said, look at the situation. It's third and one. They're up four. I can't see the quarter and things like that on this, but you need a, a big stop on third down right here. Just quick with his arms. Quick with his hands. Gets in there, get in the backfield. Not sure if they stopped him, but it's really, really close, and that was a good job by, by Mozzie Smith right there getting that backfield. Here we go. Right here against Michigan State, trying to end the half. They run a little stunt right here. Great job. In the NFL, he's probably going to get a flag just because he's launching, and, you know, the NFL is soft. Look like a little, almost a target in there. You won't be able to do that at NFL, but I like it. Well, depending on who you're playing. One-on-one -on -one passing situation right here. Once again, really, really good with his hands. I do like he's not afraid to use his hands. I know he's big and strong, you know, 6'3", 325, but he's not just trying to, you know, run through everybody. All right here, another good pass rush. Not, not that great of a pass rusher, but this is a pretty good one right here. You know, like I said, once he gets contact with guys, he's not afraid to use those hands, you know, when guys latch on to him. Really good hand. Uh, you know, work right there. Obviously something he's worked on. Once again, National Championship. This is early in the game. I mean, that's probably a hold. 78, like, you know, tackling him right there. But it is what it is. That's good rush, though. Like, he's five yards in the backfield. That's all you can ask for. If I'm playing defensive tackle and I'm five yards in the backfield off one, you know, he affects this throw. He gets in his face. Very good play right there. Solid. Super solid. Again to Ohio State. Ohio State, man, they were they were giving it to him a little bit in this in this game. Um I watched I watched this entire game. But good play bomb right here. Little stretch play they run, he fights through it, gets over it. Right here, this is a good play. Like he's using those arms, you know, to keep that separation, but he's also not getting any push. You know, in the NFL, you might have stronger guys right here that's that's able to push him out this hole. Um TCU guy isn't. He holds his ground, ends up making that play. Uh never mad at a, a one or two yard game. Now, like I said last time, as a defensive tackle, if you get this much pass rush in the middle of the field, you're five yards deep. You're five yards deep. If you get five yards deep, you, you did your job. You won. Now it's up to the defensive ends and things like that to get outside and get that pressure on the quarterback. And this time, look at the defensive ends. The quarterback can't step up in the pocket. There's no way you can step up in the pocket. You know why? Because we got a defensive tackle pushing guys five, six yards into the backfield. Now the quarterback just stuck in no man's land. He ends up escaping that sack, gets away. But he keeps the pressure on him, forces a bad throw, almost interception, you know, by Michigan. It's another really good play against Iowa. They're trying to, you know, run a little, little zone blocking scheme, little stretch play, you know. Beats it, makes a nice tackle. Solid. Right here, this is, can't really, you know, he's trying to pass rush right here. Doesn't really get anything going. Runs into a stiff double team right there. He pushes back. Now he just turns into like a quarterback spy almost. He's like, all right, I'm not getting there. It makes no sense for him to just keep, you know, keep going. Watch the quarterback try to make a play, become a football player. Boom, gets out there. Quarterback gets about three, four yards, and you live with it. Just not giving up on the play, still working, things like that. So I did, like I said, I watched a, a one game, watched the Ohio State game, kind of some of that Iowa game as well. Didn't go into a super, super deep dive on him, but I did write some pros and cons down from what I just saw. Obviously, we'll start with the pros. Athletic ability. Dude's going to be super athletic um, as, for a big guy. For a big guy, he's going to be super athletic, uh, super, you know, all the ability in the world. You know, obviously, you wouldn't be talking about him as a first-round talent if he didn't have the ability. Uh, he's good with his hands. He's good with his hands. Uh, that's definitely good for interior linemen. Um, Got to be able to use your hands. Every every play, you're going to be using your hands. You're going to be fighting some hand-to-hand hand -hand combat. 
You see Aaron Donald in the offseason. He's doing like MMA and stuff like that, crazy stuff with his hands. Going to be able to use your hands. So I do like that. Uh, he's bendy, man. He's gonna, he's really bendy, which is which is good for definitely defensive ends. But as a defensive tackle, you have that ability that's definitely going to help you um, in, in your just NFL career. Also, he has quick feet. It's good. 6'3", 325, man. They have quick feet to be bendy, to have good athletic ability. That's all going to work in his favor. Uh, so if the Saints draft him, it'll be it'll be a solid pick. Um, I'm not know if I'm, I don't know if I'm sold on it as of yet. Haven't watched enough on him uh, to say that. The cons, conditioning. I'll start off right there. I mean, he's 6'3", 325. You're not expecting him to be in the best shape possible. But he's going to have to be well conditioned. If he's going to play in the NFL, playing 15-minute quarters, definitely going to have to um, be a concern right there. Also, he's very, very slow off the ball, man. Uh, you can even see in his highlights sometimes that he was slow off the ball. He's going to have to be better off the ball. Can't be as slow you know, off the ball as he was. Um, also, not the best against double teams. Now, obviously, you got two 300-pound guys coming at you. It's going to be hard to be good against double teams. Uh, he's going to have to definitely work on that, work on his leverage, work on trying to you know just hold his ground, not getting you know, pushed back five, six, seven yards in the backfield so those linebacks come up and make some plays. Also, third downs. He's probably never going to play on third down. His pass rush ability is, is not the greatest, so him on third and long situations, it's probably not going to be a thing. Um, so he's definitely going to have to. If he was a third down specialist, he'll he'll be, I mean, a top 20 pick. But without being uh, able to play on third down, you know, can't really get side on the sideline. That great. He's st still a good athlete in space. I'm mean, Not in space, uh, you know, in tight areas. So that's definitely going to help him. But like I said, not sold on him. Not not sold on him. That's not really, you know, how you pronounce that or, or say that. But anyways, um, that's Mozzie Smith, man. So if your team drafted him, just a quick little highlight video. And if the Saints drafted him, you know it'll be more uh, from me later after the draft. But this is Mozzie Smith um, highlights, little film breakdown. Thank you all for tuning in once again. It's the Blue Tragedies. And I'm out.